All right, before we wind up with this section on API routes, I want to quickly discuss about APIs and pre-rendering. At the moment, we are fetching a list of comments on a button click and displaying it in the browser. Now let's say you need to pre-render an individual comment in a details page. For example, if we were to navigate to slash comments slash one, we should see a page with the first comment pre-rendered. If we were to navigate to slash two, we should see the second comment pre-rendered. A straightforward scenario. Let's see how we would go about implementing it. In the pages folder, Within the comments folder, we would create a dynamic page route. Within square brackets, comment ID and the extension is .js. Within the file, we would implement a React component to display the data, implement the get static paths function to let Next.js know of the possible comment IDs to pre-render, and finally, we would implement the getStaticProps function to pass props into the component. Now, each of these parts we have had a look at in the previous videos. So I am going to copy paste the code blocks, but I want you to try code along with me. For step one, I want you to code a component which will accept an individual comment as prop and render the comment ID and text in the browser. Please pause the video and unpause when you're done. I am going to copy paste the code. As you can see, we have a function comment which accepts a comment prop and its ID and text are rendered. We also default export the component. Now for step two, I want you to code the getStaticPaths function. It is an async function which returns an object with a paths property. The paths property is an array of objects where each object has a params property, which in turn is an object with the dynamic parameter. The returned object should also contain a fallback key set to false. Pause the video and give it a try. I am going to copy paste the code. So get static paths returns an object with a paths property, which is an array, and each object has a params key where we set comment ID to one, two, and three. The values should also be string. We also set fallback to false. If you missed something, make sure to fix your code. All right, now for the third and final step. I want you to implement the getStaticProps function. It is an async function which returns an object that must have a props key. For our scenario, I want you to use the context parameter, extract the comment ID, get the comment corresponding to that comment ID, and then pass it as props to the comment component. Now this is the bit which is the focal point of this video. So give it a minute, code the function and then unpause the video. I am once again going to copy paste the code. First, I'm going to import the comments array at the top and then paste the getStaticProps function. All right, let's compare. I have the async function getStaticProps which has the context parameter. I've extracted comment ID from the context params object. And now is the place where you might be confused. You might be thinking, hey, we have created an API route that accepts a comment ID and returns the corresponding comment. Let me just call that API and return the response as props from the function. Now, if you did try this, you might have run into a problem with the fetch API. You probably need something like use SWR hook, but that is not the point I want to highlight. What I want to highlight is the fact that you're advised not to call your own API route 
from within get static props or get server side props. You can call an external API, but calling your own API route isn't recommended. Calling it via a URL introduces an additional round trip, which is just not necessary. You already have the data available, so you can instead replicate the same logic within getStaticProps itself. So you can see that I have imported the comments array and used it within getStaticProps to find the comment whose ID matches the comment ID from the URL segment. The exact same logic we had in our API. Once I have the comment, I return it as props for use in the component. This code, which will avoid the round trip of making a request, will easily save you at least 100 milliseconds. Now I understand that we have duplicated the logic of finding a comment by comment ID. In a practical application, you should extract reusable code into a separate file, export it, and then import it for use within the API route as well as within the page. I have not done that to keep the code as simple as possible. But what you should keep in mind is that you should not call an API route for pre-rendering. All right, with this last detail about API routes now in your knowledge bank, let's take a look at the summary for API routes.